Hello guys, welcome back to another video in this React series. This is a continuation of my previous video on creating a responsive bootstrap form in React.js. If you have not watched that, please feel free to go back and watch that video. I have provided the link for that video in the description as well. In the previous videos, we have created a bootstrap form which is responsive and we have added some real-time validations as well. In this video, we will enhance this form and add two more features to it. The first feature is, as soon you can see here, when we click on submit, there is no action. In the real-time scenarios, we will send this data to database. In this example, at least we will try to show some confirmation message to the user, so that user can understand that this form is submitted. And when a confirmation message is displayed, we will clear these forms fields data. So those are the two features which will integrate into this form. So let's see how to do that one. For that one, let me open code editor. This is a code or logic which we have added in earlier video for our bootstrap responsive form. The first thing which we want to do is show an alert message or confirmation message to the user. To do that one, as we have already added function for handling the submit button and we have defined the logic to check the validations. At the end, within this function, you can see there is a if condition it is checking if there is no error in name, email or age, the further steps can be carried out. As of now, we are printing the message in our console window. Here in the real-time scenarios, the actual code of sending the data to database goes. For this example, as we are interested in showing alert message or confirmation message, I can make use of JavaScript's alert and add a message form submitted successfully. So let me save this one and go back to browser. Now if I enter the data here and when I click on submit, you can observe we can see a pop-up message or confirmation message to the user here. Similarly, another thing which we want to do is once a confirmation message is displayed, we need to clear these field data. For that one, let me go to code editor. As you can observe here, we have already defined a function by name handle clear which will clear these three fields name, email and age and it will also clear the error message if there is anything which is set earlier. The only thing which I need to do here is I need to call this function within this if condition. So now save the file and go back to browser again. Now again let me add some data here and when I click on submit you can observe we got a confirmation message here. As soon as I click on OK button, you can observe the data which we have entered in the form that is cleared. These two are small features which we can add in our responsive form to enhance the user experience. So that's it guys for this video. Let me know your questions or feedbacks in the video comments. Thanks for watching this. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.